Hey guys, it's the Andy San here. Um, today is a very special video, and uh, this very special video is brought to you by NOS. Um, this time I got the grape version, and unfortunately it tastes pretty much like uh, carbonated Dimatap, which uh, for those of you who don't know what Dimatap is, it's basically like a children's cough medicine, pretty much, and uh, that's kind of one of the main reasons I don't drink a lot of grape sodas because they all pretty much taste like carbonated Dimatap. One of the very rare exceptions, I think it's the only one that I found, was uh, Pitch Black, both versions. They were grape soda, but they didn't, did not taste like a liquid Dimatap or carbonated Dimatap at all. But I'm not here to talk, uh, talk shop about grape soda. We're here to talk about a man, a very special man, one who, uh, Tragically, uh, we lost uh, a year ago to today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the man, of course, I'm talking about is uh, Roger Swan. And uh, although I never met met the guy in person, I think uh, if we did, we really would have clicked. Just because our personalities were pretty similar. I didn't, you know, even though we were twenty somethings, uh, we didn't really like to go out and get drunk and do all kinds of crazy uh, 20-something year old stuff. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we just had a similar taste in music. Um, and plus, you know, we were just uh, down-to-earth Michigan boys, pretty much. <laughs> so that was one of the one of the reasons that I kind of gravitated towards him more so than the uh, the other J vloggers. And uh, he was definitely one of the, uh, one of my very early influences. As far as, you know, not just with, you know, talking about Japan, but also with uh, video making, too. Um, as I mentioned on my uh, YouTube story uh, about a year or so ago now, um, it was him, uh, Tokyo Kuni, and uh, I think it was SXE Phil were uh, my three main influences with making videos. And they still, still are today. I mean, you can kind of see how uh, each personality kind of influenced uh, the way I make videos and uh, anyway getting back to Roger um, it was it was really tragic when he died because you know he was he was just so young I mean he was only like a year or so younger than I am so to hear somebody like that just gone you know was it was a shock and to be honest when you know when People die, especially people who aren't sick and they're not old, you know, and they just all of a sudden go. It's, it's kind of hard to believe it at first. Like, with me, it's like, it normally takes about a day or two for me to, for it to finally sink in and realize he's actually dead, you know. So, of course, I scoured the internet because I figured, oh, some trolls, you know, talking smack about Roger and, you know. Had to go through different sources, but uh, event unfortunately uh, confirmed that he did indeed pass. And uh, ever since his passing, um, I tried to incorporate the little things that he did in his videos um, that really made a difference to me. And I do it, um, you know, in tribute to him as well as, you know, I kind of think that they're cool. And uh, one of the mo most uh, significant ones is... Ending my videos with, uh, we'll see you next time. Um, that was Roger's thing. Uh, I didn't invent it. <laughs> Not that he did, but, you know. Uh, that was just one of his things that he did. Um, I decided to do it just to kind of uh, keep his memory alive, I guess. Um, another thing that I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, some of my longtime viewers might notice, but I significantly cut down on the swearing in my videos. I mean, I do swear because, hey, it's me, and also, I'm a sailor, so, <laughs> we do what we do, you know. But, um, I definitely uh, cut down a lot on the swearing, just because I think that, you know, you can still get your message across without using, as Spongebob put it, word enhancers. <laughs> so, um, there's that, and, uh, we messaged a lot, uh, especially back in the early days when I was still, you know, kind of new to the whole video making thing. And there was a point where I was just really frustrated and kind of didn't really know what to do 
as far as uh, my videos go. So he left me some comments, we traded messages back and forth, and uh, he really helped me out. You know, he did. He probably, you know, didn't know it during his lifetime, but he really, really helped me out in making videos. And I hope that when I get stationed over in Japan and uh, I get to um, see the same places that uh, he he did, especially uh, his video of Yokosuka, because that's, uh, that's where I want to get stationed at. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, he did a video back in the uh, Tokyo Swan days. Um, can't remember the name of it. Oh, Real Life Shenmue. Real Life Shenmue. That is an amazing video. It's one of my all-time favorite uh, Roger Swan videos. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, that's the general area that I hope to be stationed in when uh, I'm done with schooling. But that's going to be a while, <laughs> considering I have a lot of school. But anyway, just getting back to Roger. Um, I really hope that he's he's in a better place now. Um, doing what he loves to do, and uh, just being a kind, gentle person. And I'm almost crying here, and I don't cry, so I'm just gonna try to, you know, you know, keep my composure, and uh, yeah, just uh, better end things here before I start blubbering like a baby. Um, this is the Andy San signing off for now. Uh, thanking you guys for tuning in, and uh, thanking Roger Swan for all the memories, for all that you've done, sir. It was an honor and a privilege. Well, that's a bit much, but it was uh, just enjoyable watching your videos. So, rest in peace, big guy. Rest in peace. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.